Today, guys, Molly and I are gonna get things done! Thanks for tuning in to my channel, and thanks for tuning in to this episode of Chronicles of a Farmstay Startup here at the Hittisburg Farm! <laughs> we got a lot of work to do today on the farm, guys. I want to see what I can do about them sunflower stalks. I want to see what I can do about our veggie garden. Do you remember the veggie garden with all them weeds? <sighs> Molly's going to keep me company along the way as she always does because she's the best dog in the world. In the world, guys. Right? Huh? <laughs> That was a close one. I don't want to get licked. <laughs> okay, now let's go and get this stuff done. Oh, but don't forget guys, don't forget to pound that like, click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, thank you very much. You already know me, my name's Chad, and you already know her. Her name's Molly the Old English Sheepdog, also known as Mad Dog Molly. <laughs> She's gonna keep me company today. Check it out, the two barn cats are on the hunt. And the mouse is defiant, I think Stormy got bit. Fozzie Bear and Stormy, tag team. Stormy goes in for the hand swipes. Fozzie looks at Stormy as though to ask permission. And Fozzie swoops in for the kill. Yeah, Fozzie. Good job, buddy. You took Stormy's kill. Fuzzy, you stole Stormy's kill. Poor Stormy. Good job, you guys. Good, good job. Proud of you guys. Stormy's looking for the mouse or another mouse. Poor Stormy, she didn't get the final kill. But this guy, he's chomping on that dead mouse now. See, Fozzie has added value to the farm. He's gobbling it up. Poor Stormy. Stormy, Stormy's the one who found that mouse, but Fozzie's the one who went in for the kill. Maybe Stormy just wants, she didn't have that killer instinct, but Fozzie bite it real hard, and that mouse is done like dinner. All Stormy can do is watch. What'd you do with it, Fozzie? Where is it? Fozzie, did you eat it? Did you eat it all? Are you guys bonding? Ah, are you guys becoming friends? You're, you're not sleeping together. You okay, Stormy? Uh, you okay, Fuzzy? 
You're okay, buddy. How about you? Are you okay? Huh? to do is take out all these sunflower stalks put them in my tractor dump it over and I'll just let it dry out and then I'm gonna try to use the mulcher to mulch the stalks and put it in the compost bin probably not gonna be for a few weeks until this really dries out because you don't want to mulch green stuff eh? you want to mulch dry brown stuff I'm just trying to get all the soil off the roots. I feel like the root is supposed to be deeper than this. They're very shallow, so it's easy to pull them out. And I mean, it's not like I have a big farm machine to, to till all this up. I just have my small tiller. Let's see, this should be good enough. Just gonna pile up all these sunflowers right here beside our compost pile and then when this gets dried out along with all this tree shrubbery right here I'm gonna chip it with the wood chipper and shred it up and it'll make it a lot easier to compost inside the the, the pile the compost pile eh? Yeah! Man, Elvis and his three hens have been in this new coop for pretty darn close to a month. 
Now, I don't know how long it takes, but man, these chickens have stopped laying completely. There's three of them in there, and I haven't had an egg from them in almost a month since I moved them to this new coop. I hope they don't hate their coop, because that would be bad, because I'm going through a lot of effort to build this wicked, awesome, amazing, one-of-a-kind, work-of-art, chicken house, gazebo, chateau du palais. So if they don't like this coop, that's going to be really sad. Okay guys, Molly and I are in our vegetable garden. I know it's a disaster, but what we're gonna do is pick up all of the hoses that we have spread all around, get them out of here, and then I'm gonna mow the whole thing down. The whole thing. A lot of this garden is overgrown, but I mean, you know, we gotta get prepared for next year. It's pretty much it for this year. Still got some tomatoes growing. We got a couple of herbs growing and a couple of peppers. Pretty much everything else has died off, so it's about time we get this mowed up and start prepping for next year's challenge in this garden. Yeah! This worked pretty good this year. Pretty good timer. Kept our garden watered. And it kept all the weeds watered too. Time to store it away for the winter. These sprinklers did their job too guys. Kept our garden watered from those timers. And I just got to drain them out and clean them up for the winter. And we'll be good to go for next year for the watering. <music> Last squash of the season, guys. I'm gonna try to dig up these peanuts. <laughs> let's see what we got. It's the first year we ever did peanuts. Let's see what we come up with. This is one peanut plant, guys. Pretty slim pickings on this sucker. There's a peanut. Found a peanut. Found a peanut. <laughs> you remember that stupid song, guys? Found a peanut last night. Okay, that's it. One plant, three peanuts. That's it. One, two, three. We need more practice. This batch is a bit better. One, two, three. Little tiny one, four. That's it. Four little peanuts on one plant.
have been hard at work in this veggie garden. Check it out, guys. It's gone. Everything's gone. Mode. 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 Got a little bit of work to do with these artemisias over in the corner, but honestly, my wife still has some herbs over there, so I don't want to mow that yet. But uh, now this is going to give us a nice, clean slate to get ready for next year. Right here, I didn't mow because that's all strawberries, but it's mixed in with weeds too. So we're going to use a cardboard technique to try to battle the weeds, but we still got this. This is our strawberry patch. There's a lot of strawberry plants there. They're just covered by weeds. So I'm going to get my wife to weed this, and then we're going to put cardboard in and around all of the, the plants, and then put some mulch on top, you know, like wood chips on top of the cardboard, and hopefully that'll combat the weeds. Uh, I just started a rain here. I'm lucky I just finished mowing my veggie garden there, so that's good. But I'm going to close it up and I'm going to get the ducks and the geese in for the night. Tulugana, which means go to bed in Filipino. <laughs> Have an escapee duck guys. It's in these woods. I don't know how she got outside the netting. How's how she gonna get in? Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Thought I was looking for trouble there, but she came around, she got through. The only thing I don't know is. How did she get on the other side of the fence? That's the question. Oh man, here comes the rain again. Gotta check these pullets and cockerels in the chicken house because their food was almost gone and I might need to refill it. Yeah, it's gone. Elvis and his hens are okay. Uh, I need to just get some food for these Pullets and cockerels, I'll take this and get some food. One of the things we got done the other day is we fixed up the front of the barn, eh? The garden area. What I did is I dug it all out with the tractor and I put a landscape fabric down. I put these logs down as kind of like a border and it looks pretty good. I put a bunch of wood chips down. And I mean, hopefully no weeds will grow through there since there's the weed barrier. Looks a lot better, looks a lot nicer. How you doing, kittens? Isn't she lovely? Lovely hears the loudest purr of all these four kittens. She purrs so loud. How you doing, fellas? You guys okay? This is not good. Nobody likes doing farm chores in the rain. There's Stormy trying to hide from the rain over there. Where's Fozzie? Let's go. Let's go. Actually, Molly doesn't mind the rain. Oh my God, it's coming down. All this to get this food to these chickens.
Two Lugana duck, two Lugana, two Lugana ducks, two Lugana, two Lugana, two Lugana. Where are you going? Where are you going? Two Lugana duck, two Lugana. Big ducks and geese are in, little ducks are in. Now I gotta corral those kittens and get Fozzie in for, for bed for the night. And hopefully it doesn't rain too much. I can get this done. Stormy's in my workshop eating a snack right now. I saw Fuzzy here a little while ago. Where did he go? Okay, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Time to go to bed. Fozzie doesn't really like to be locked up in there, and I don't blame him. And I think he's probably ready to be released on the farm, to be free like Stormy. I'm just waiting. I ordered a little tag for me eh, that has his name and my phone number on it. So I want to get that on him first before I officially release him. One last thing. Stormy, let's go. <laughs> let's get Stormy in for the night. I owe every day, I know that Stormy's loose on the farm, but what I do is I put her in the barn and I give her dinner. And it's up to her what she wants to do after that point. It's not raining right this second, but it was raining a while ago and it's supposed to be raining now for the next 10 days. 10 days of rain, how am I supposed to finish my chicken house? Anyways, let's get Stormy fed. So we're gonna get done today because of the rain. Molly and I did a pretty good job though. That garden's done. The sunflowers are half done. I got tired. I wanted to ride my mower for a little bit. The rain's coming any second now. It's a good thing I'm stopping for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, a little bit of chores is a little bit of fun here at the Hidden Spring Farm. And uh, don't forget to click that subscribe and pound that like for me, okay guys? Just in case you're not already subscribed. All you people who are subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching and you guys take care, okay?